Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we will learn how to configure VLANs in Sophos XG Firewall. Thereafter, we will see how inter VLAN routing can be configured in Sophos XG Firewall. And at conclusion, we will see that if you want to allow the internet access on the VLAN which is configured on your Sophos XG Firewall, which is routed through your Sophos Firewall, how you will be allowing the internet access, how you will be creating a firewall rule. So guys, before we proceed, let's take a scenario. This will be our scenario where you have a internet ISP link uh, terminated on the Sophos XG firewall. Below Sophos XG firewall, you have a L3 switch and there are four VLANs, VLAN 1, VLAN 2, VLAN 3 and VLAN 4. Instead of performing the VLAN routing through inter VLAN routing through the core switch, uh, layer 3 switch, we will be doing a uh, routing through the Sophos XG firewall. We will see in this tutorial how we can do the inter VLAN routing in Sophos XG firewall. And we will be taking one requirement uh, where we will say that uh, standalone users in VLAN 1, that is this VLAN, VLAN 2 and VLAN 3 want to use the NAS and printer located in VLAN 4. So basically the idea is that VLAN 1, VLAN 2 and VLAN 3 must communicate to VLAN 4. Moving on, we will get an idea that if you want to restrict a VLAN communication, that also how you can achieve. And we will see, uh, we will be creating a firewall rule to allow the internet access for a particular VLAN. So let's begin with the configuration. Now over here I am logging to our Sophos XG firewall. Moving on, what we are going to do is we will be creating a VLAN that is VLAN 1, VLAN 2, VLAN 3 and VLAN 4 with the respective IP addresses. Let's begin the configuration. The very first thing what you are going to do is you will be going to interface. To go to interfaces you will be clicking on network over here from the left pane and over here in the interfaces. Going to interfaces over here, you will click on add interfaces and you will find a multiple option like add bridge, allies, VLAN, lag, RAD. So you, what you will do, you will click on add VLAN. Over here, you will give the name of the VLAN and we will be giving VLAN 1 or if you have a particular name, like let's say if you are creating a VLAN, like uh, you have um, several departments, uh, if you want to create a VLAN on the basis of your department, you can give the department name. It's up to you, whatever name you want to give. Over here, I will simply proceed with the VLAN 1 as a name. Uh, interface, on which interface you want to configure this particular VLAN. As per our network design, we will be configuring our VLANs in the LAN, in the LAN zone. Let me take you to the network design uh, so that we will see how, on which port is our LAN zone designated. So if you, you will see our network design, port A we have designated as a LAN, internal LAN, right? So we will be uh, configure, we will be adding those VLANs on interface A, that is port A, on port A we will be doing that. Zone will be LAN, VLAN ID we need to give, we will give the VLAN ID for VLAN 1 as 1. Then it is asking for IP addresses, whether it uh, the IP address is static or DSCP. So we will say uh, IP address is static and the IP address is 10.1.10.0 24. So 10.1.10.0 is a network. So we will give IP as 10.1.10.1. And we will simply save the configuration. So now if you want to see the VLAN which you have created VLAN interface, uh, over here you will see a VLAN option, right? You will click on VLAN and you will see your created VLAN over here. It is saying VLAN 1, uh, it is in the LAN zone and it is a VLAN interface. IP address is being shown and it is shown that it is created on port A with VLAN ID 1. If you want to edit, you will simply click over here and you can edit if you want to do any kind of editing in future. Similarly, we will be creating 
our VLAN 2, VLAN 3 and VLAN 4. So we will click on add interface, add VLAN, name we will give VLAN 2, uh, rest all thing as it is, interface port A, zone is LAN, VLAN ID will be 2 and the IP address will be 10.1.20.0 as a network and the, we will use IP 10.1.20.1 slash 24 and we will save the configuration. Now we will create VLAN 3 interface. VLAN ID will be 3 and the IP address will be 10.1.30.1 slash 24 will save the configuration. Now we will create our last VLAN that is VLAN 4. And VLAN ID is 4. The IP address on the interface will be 10.1.40.1 slash 24 and we will save it. So friends over here we have created four different interfaces VLAN interfaces VLAN 1, VLAN 2, VLAN 3, VLAN 4 and we have assigned the IP addresses. Let me take you to the network design over here which we are following today. Uh, let's assume like uh, over here you want to assign a DSTP uh, like uh, the VLANs uh, which you have configured and interfaces which you have configured uh, the device connecting over here on the VLAN 1, VLAN 2, VLAN 3 and VLAN 4 need a DSCP addresses. So in that case, as you uh, configure the DSCP for the physical interface, similarly you will go uh, in the network, the DSCP option over here and you will simply, what you will do, you will add, you will give the DSCP name like let's say we will say VLAN 10 DSCP pool, you will select an interface, so it was VLAN 1 right, VLAN 1 DSCP pool, you will select an interface VLAN one and you will be saying that 10.1.10.102 10 and ip let's say for example 10.1.10.100 okay ending ip will be 10.1.10.100 for example and over here subnet mask will be slash 24 domain name is optional gateway we will be using the interface ip as a gateway as we are using for the physical interfaces and DNS uh, IP addresses if you want to give uh, DNS external IP addresses or as if you will say use as a interface then this will be the option or as you will say use device DNS setting then it will take the DNS from the device setting and you will simply save it. So basically in this way what you are going to do you, you can create a DSCP pool also for your VLAN interfaces. Okay. Now moving on. What is our requirement? The requirement is like VLAN 1, VLAN 2, VLAN 3 want to use NAS and printer located in VLAN 4. So basically, we want to do a inter VLAN routing where VLAN 1, VLAN 2, and VLAN 3 will be communicating to VLAN 4. So, considering this scenario, I can say that VLAN 1 should not communicate to VLAN 2, VLAN 2 should not communicate to VLAN 3, VLAN 3 should not communicate to VLAN 1 and VLAN 2, right? So, very first, we will fulfill our requirement. Uh, we will create an inter VLAN routing rule basically where VLAN 1, VLAN 2 and VLAN 3 will be communicating to VLAN 4. And one more thing, we need a bidirectional routing, a bidirectional uh, traffic. So we will uh, see how we can do the uh, bidirectional rule. I mean within the same rule, how we can, uh, be, uh, we will create a bidirectional rule policy, bidirectional traffic policy. So coming to rules and policies over here, you will with uh, adding a firewall rule, new firewall rule. As you all know, by default, LAN to LAN traffic is block. So we will say user VLANs, right? Let's give the name. You can give any name, whatever you want. We will say user VLAN to NAS VLAN. Description is optional. Where you want to uh, position the rule we will say on top action will be accept we'll say none in the group log the firewall traffic if you want to see the logs for this uh, particular traffic you can log the traffic 
source zone will be LAN of course and when we talk about the source network and devices it will be sorry uh, before that we need to create the ne uh, network or a devices so we will say create new network VLAN 1 or else before we go over here we will do one thing we will create all our VLANs let me cancel this first of all we will create all our VLAN network addresses so going to host and services you will simply add your VLAN 1 and network is 10.1.1.0 slash 24 10.1.10.0 slash save it similarly add VLAN 2 network VLAN 3 and VLAN 4 network VLAN 2 network is 10.1.20.0 slash 24 save it similarly add VLAN 3 network 10.1.30.0 slash 24 and the last one that is VLAN 4 VLAN 4 and the network is 10.1.40.0 slash 24 and save it now basically what we did we have created all our VLAN network let me show you VLAN 1, VLAN 2, VLAN 3, VLAN 4 with their respective IP and uh, with their respective networks. Basically, we have assigned all this host over here. Now, moving on to the policies. We will create a new firewall rule and we will give the name as we want to allow user VLAN traffic to NAS storage. We will place it at top. Action is accept. Rule group none log the firewall traffic source will be lan and source network and devices over here you will say vlan 1 vlan 2 vlan 3 schedule all the time destination zone is again lan and you will say vlan so what we have said over here VLAN 1, VLAN 2 and VLAN 3 should reach to VLAN 4 destination is VLAN 4 services if you want to find any services you can define it or else services will be any we don't need web filtering application filtering over here nor we need any NAT rule because we are not uh, we don't want any translation of the IP addresses or like we don't want this uh, to go over the internet like that so netting is not required you won't be creating on uh, linking any natural simply you will say what you did let me repeat once again before we save uh, you have given the name user uh, vlan to nas uh, we have positioned it we have said the action is accept and log the firewall traffic basically in source we have defined the source zone as lan and the source network we have defined as vlan 1 vlan 2 vlan 3 the destination zone again lan and we have said that vlan 4 simply you will save the configuration so this is how you do of inter VLAN routing now using this rule you won't be able to reach from a VLAN 1 to VLAN 2 now for example let's say you have a further requirement that VLAN 1 should communicate to VLAN 2 and VLAN 2 should communicate to VLAN 1 so in that case, what you are going to do is we'll again add a new firewall rule and you will say you want to allow VLAN 1 to VLAN 2. You know all this thing, right? Log the firewall traffic. Source zone will be LAN. VLAN 1. Destination network will be LAN, it will be VLAN 2. 
at the same time if you want a bidirectional rule then uh, it's very simple you will simply adding a VLAN 2 also over here and here you will be adding VLAN 1 so basically this is a bidirectional rule that VLAN 1 to VLAN 2 VLAN 2 to VLAN 1 if in any circumstances you require you can do this as well no need of netting, nothing, you simply saved it. So guys, this is how you create a VLAN interfaces and do a inter-VLAN routing. Moving on, let's say further you have a requirement where you want that a VLAN 1 should reach to the internet. So how you will create a, v a firewall rule for VLAN 1 internet access you will be simply adding a firewall rule click on new firewall rule you will say VLAN 1 to WAN is the rule name you can give anything as per the convenience this will be none block firewall traffic and source zone you will say LAN and the source network will be VLAN 1 all the time schedule destination zone will be WAN destination network will be any services you can say any or like for internet access as I told you several times it is HTTP, HTTPS and DNS is required and the internet access will start to work over here you need to create a NAT rule you know what you need to do when you are creating a NAT rule the SNAT will be MSQ and you will save the configuration over here if you want the web filtering application filtering definitely you can do it over here and you will simply save it And in this way, your internet traffic for VLAN 1 to WAN, uh, VLAN for the VLAN 1 will start. Uh, all the PCs which are in VLAN 1 will be able to reach to the internet using this rule. Additionally, guys, uh, as if now, uh, since I'm running out of the time, uh, my lic uh, the license spread is about to expire. So that's the reason as if now I'm not showing, but definitely in the coming time, uh, I will be adding a switch in our VMware workstation and we will be doing this lab like we will be designing our lab, this lab this kind of lab in sorry guys this lab we will be designing in our vmware workstation where we will be using a tier 3 switch and definitely whatever we have done we will justify it however whatever we have done if you do this in your live environment exactly everything will work perfectly there is nothing like you will facing any kind of issue your inter vlan routing will work your dscp uh, your machines which are in particular vlan and if you configure a dscp on this interface your dscp configuration will work perfectly uh, additionally if you want to allow the internet access even that will work but as we justify each and everything at the end of our lab over here we are not able to do so because we have not made such arrangements till now but yes of course in the coming time we will be definitely doing this kind of setup this kind of design we will be adding in our vmware workstation and we will justify the configuration which we have done in uh, this tutorial so that's all uh, guys about the interviews and routing in sofos xg firewall if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel and do share with your friends thanks and see you in the next tutorial